Miracles of the Prophet Muhammad Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam 1. al Quranul Fazim The miracles of the Quran include 1. Ali Jazal Balagah, namely miracles in terms of literary beauty or balaga. 2. Ali Jazit to Syriai, which is a miracle from the perspective of law enforcement at the time of enactment of these laws. Just, perfect, and comprehensive laws. 3. Ali Jazal Ilmi, namely miracles in terms of science. Correct and in accordance with the times, and can answer all contemporary problems. 4. Ali Jazal Adadi, namely miracles from a mathematical slash statistical perspective. 5. The contents include supernatural things that have happened and that have not happened. Reveal the hearts of disbelievers and hypocrites, uncover their plots and repay them. 6. The contents of the Quran are free from contradictions. 7. The aspect of perfect care is by memorizing, writing, explaining the interpretation in the Book of Commentaries, issuing the law in the Book of Fiqh, and issuing knowledge about it in the form of Ulumul Quran. 8. Aspects of Evidence A challenge that cannot be answered until the end of time. 2. Isra and Miraj Prophet Muhammad Aspects of Miracles in Isra Miraj 1. Horizontal Distance in Isra 2. The Vertical Distance in Miraj 3. Cleavage of the Chest 4. al burak What a Vehicle 5. The inability of angels that only the Messenger of Allah is capable of. 6. The Prophet mentioned the condition of the Aqsa Mosque in the presence of Quraysh infidels. 7. Meetings with the Prophets that show Wida Teresa. 8. The Prophets and Apostles always want Conveni 77777 ints for their people. 3. Splitting the Moon. One time the people of Mecca asked for a miracle as proof of his prophethood. From Anas, he said, the people of Mecca asked the Prophet to show them some proof of prophecy, so the Prophet Muhammad showed the splitting of the moon, hadith narrated by Bukhari. The splitting of the moon was clearly visible to the residents at that time because it was clearly seen as being divided into two separate parts. From Ibn Masyudi, he said, the moon was split in the time of the Prophet into two parts. One part, is visible, above the top of the mountain and another part below it. Then Razalullah said, watch. Hadith history of Bukhari. Even though it is clear, the infidel still denies it. From Abdullah ibn Masyudi, he said, the moon was split in two in Mecca, so the disbelievers said, this is magic that the son of Abi Kabsaya, Prophet Muhammad, did to you. Wait for travelers, if they see what you see, then he is honest. If they don't see it, then this is his magic over you. Then the travelers who came from all over were asked, they replied, We saw it, split, hadith narrated by Baihaki in al Tikad. 4. A glass of milk satisfies many people. Abu Huraira was a friend of the Prophet who was very poor but had a lot of knowledge and strong memorization. He often experienced hunger. One day when Abu Huraira was sitting in the street, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed by him and smiled at him. He really understood the suffering of Abu Huraira. Therefore, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ya Aba here. Abu Huraira replied, Labi'ika, O Messenger of Allah, I have come to fulfill your call, O Messenger of Allah, he said, follow me. So Abu Huraira followed Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to his house. Then he let him in. There Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam found a glass of milk. He asked his wife, where does this milk come from? His wife replied, from so and so, he gifted it to you. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then called Abu Huraira, Ya Aba here. Labi'ika, O Messenger of Allah, he replied. Go and call Allah Shafa. Allah Shafa are a group of friends who live in the Prophet's mosque Salallahu Alaihi Wasallam because they do not have wealth and family, in the city of Medina, edition. Abu Huraira felt entitled to take a sip first so that his lost strength could return. Later, when the Allah Shafa come, of course Abu Huraira will serve them. 
He was worried if he didn't get it. But Abu Huraira did not want to disobey the order of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Therefore, Abu Huraira immediately called al Shafa. They also came to the house of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called Abu Huraira, Ya Ibi here. Labi'ika, O Messenger of Allah. Please accept this and share it with them. So Abu Huraira gave the glass of milk to the first person. The man drank it until satisfied. Then the glass was returned to Abu Huraira. Then it is given again to the second, third, fourth, and so on until all are satisfied. So fabulous! The glass was received back by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then smiled at Abu Huraira and said, Ya Iba here. Labiika, O Messenger of Allah. Now it's just me and you. Yes, O Messenger of Allah. Sit down and have a drink. So Abu Huraira sat down and drank. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam kept ordering him to drink until Abu Huraira said, By Allah who sent you with the truth, there is no place in my stomach anymore. Then Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Give me that glass. He praised Allah and gave thanks then recited, Bismillah, and drank the rest of the milk, hadith narrated by Bukhari, number 6087.